Hi everybody, it's Webflow Joe with an effin sweet Webflow hack. In this hack, we learn how to customize the favicon for a specific page on your site. Right now in Webflow, when you update your favicon and site settings, it's applied to every single page on your site. We're gonna look at how to customize that favicon for an individual page. Let's see how it works. We're in the live example, starting off on the home page of the clonable site. You'll see that this page and all the other pages on the build have the default favicon. If we go into hack seven to customize the favicon for a specific page, we'll see the favicon has changed for this page and this page only. In Designer, we don't need any HTML element on the page. We don't need to add any classes to the page. It's all done in custom code. Let's break down this code line by line. Inside our head tag, we're going to insert our script. We are not inserting the script in the body. And the reason is we need this code to execute as soon as possible. We do not want to load the body content and then place our custom favicon. We want our custom favicon to be on the page and this code executed before any of the page elements start loading. So it's in the head. We are writing a function to essentially rebuild our favicon link with the favicon of our choice. So we are creating a variable called link and we are getting a reference to the link element, which is the existing favicon. Or if that doesn't exist, we are going to create a link element. So this will work whether you have a favicon on your site or you don't. And then we are going to start building each part of this link element. We have the link type. This is all standard stuff. This you will see in your existing favicon that's on the page. And the key here is the href. This is what we're going to update and customize so we have a unique favicon on this specific page. And here we have our custom fav. Here we go, hack seven custom. And that is now going to show on this hack page and this hack page only. So we still have our favicon in site settings. It's being applied to every page. And now we are going to append this link that we just created to the head of the document. So here we're in the document. We're going to get the element head and we are going to append child link. And this is the link that we built. So we can now have custom favicons on each page. We have this on client sites, it works. We don't see flashing favs and it is awesome for customizing different products or different brands or just spicing it up and giving the users a fun experience on your site. Thank you so much for checking out this hack. Please clone the project. We have the entire hacks project available for clone. Start learning how these hacks work and use them on your live site. We're always releasing new hacks. So if you want to be updated, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want a super simple plain text email when we release a new hack, sign up at finsuite.com slash hacks dash updates. If you want to request a hack, we'll check it out and see if it's possible in Webflow. Go to finsuite.com slash hacks dash request. That's effing sweet.